In the previous lecture, we described connecting our resistors in parallel with respect to one another. Now, let's actually look at an example. Let's suppose three resistors are placed in parallel with respect to one another as shown in the following diagram. So we have resistor 1, resistor 2, and resistor number 3 that are connected in parallel with respect to one another. So we have a closed electric circuit and the voltage is given to be 120 volts. So in part A, if all three resistors have equivalent resistance and the electric current in our circuit is 12 amps, calculate the resistance on each one of our resistors. So let's begin by recalling the equation that gives us the equivalent resistance of that single resistor that will replace all three resistors which are placed in parallel as shown in the following diagram. So that equation is given by the following formula. 1 divided by R equivalent is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. So this is R1, R2, and R3. Now by assumption R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 and that gives us the following result 3 divided by R. Now if we divide top and bottom by 3 we get this result. So we see 1 divided by REQ is equal to 1 divided by R divided by 3. So the equivalent resistance of our single equivalent resistor which will replace these three resistors in parallel is given by the following quantity R divided by 3. So now let's apply Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the voltage across that single resistor is equal to the product of the electric current through that resistor multiplied by the equivalent resistance which is given to be R divided by 3. So this is equal to I multiplied by R divided by 3. So now we have this equation V equals this ratio. Now we can essentially take this and solve for R. So R is equal to 3 multiplied by V divided by I. So we know V is equal to 120 volts which is given by this quantity and we know I is equal to 12 volts. So 3 multiplied by 120 gives us 360 divided by 12 gives us 30 ohms is our resistance on each one of these resistors. So we make we made the assumption that the resistance on each one is exactly the same. Now let's move on to part B. Now if you double the voltage from 120 to 240 volts while keeping the electric current the same at 12 amps, calculate what happens to our resistance. So once again we simply apply this equation. V is equal to IR divided by 3. So we rearrange it and we see that R is equal to 3 multiplied by V divided by R. So the voltage becomes 240, it doubles, our I stays the same, so we see that our R is now equal to 60 ohms. So if we double our voltage, we essentially double our resistance of each one of, each one of these resistors. Now let's move on to part C. Calculate the electric current that passes through each one of these resistors. So when the electric current uh, enters this intersection, it splits into three sections. Now because each one of these resistors has the same exact quantity of resistance, that implies that I1 is equal to I2 is equal to I3. So that means the electric current essentially splits evenly between these three sections. So that that means I3, I2, and I1 is equal to I divided by 3. So I is simply 12 amps divided by 3 gives us 4 amps. So the electric current through each one of these resistors is 4 amps. It's exactly a third of the total quantity of our electric current.